everyone, I'm going to be reviewing Moonfall. Yes, I unfortunately watched Moonfall. Now let's get into my thoughts. Moonfall is read by Roland Emmerich. Emmerich, I think that's how you say it. Written by Roland Emmerich, uh, Harold Closer, and Spencer Cohen. Produced by Harold Closer and Roland Emmerich, starring Hayley Berry, Patrick Lawson, John Bradley, Michael Pena, Charlie Palmer, Kelly Yu, and Donald Sutherland. Cinematography from Robbie. Bon Gartner, uh, edited by Adam Wolfe and Ryan Stevens Harris, uh, music by Thomas Wander and Harold Closer, Produ uh, production companies from uh, Huawei Brothers International, Huawei Tyson Entertainment, International Cooperation Entertainment, uh, Street Entertainment, and AGC Studios, distributed by Lionsgate, released January 31st, 2021 at Los Angeles for the Film Festival, so for the uh, premiere. And February 4th, 2022, in the United States, and February 3rd, 2022, in my country, New Zealand. It ran for 130 minutes. The budget for this film was 138 to $146 million. Into the box office, it got $10.5 million. That is good. Now let's get into my thoughts. Um, well, not my thoughts yet. I'm going to read the synopsis for this film. Um, Okay, the synopsis. A mysterious force knocks the moon from its orbit around Earth and sends it hurtling on a collision course with life as we know it. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, cast in this film. Hilly Berry is Joe Fowler. Patrick Wilson is Brian Harper. John Bradley is Kate C. Uh, Michael Pena is Tom Lopez. Charlie Plummer is Sonny Harper. Kelly Yu is Michelle Donald Sutherland as Hill Bloomfield, uh, and more. Production. In May 2019, Roland Emmerich was announced to be writing and directing the film. With a $138-146 million budget, including $40 million for Hyundai Brothers, $15 million for Lionsgate, and $15 million uh, from Germany. It is one of the most expensive independent films ever produced. Emmerich said the pro pro uh, project has previously bought uh, Universal Pictures, and once uh, he got the rights back, Emmerich and partner Harold Closer went to the Kansas Film Festival to get financial bankers of the independent nature, helping Emmerich get creative control and about 50% share of the film. The idea came after reading Christopher, Noel, uh, Christopher Knight's and Alan Butler's novel Who Built the Moon, which uh, debated, debated about the moon being an artificial construction when the script was worked on for four years. In November 2019, Lionsgate acquired the North American distribution rights and AGC International acquired the international debut rights. In May 2020, Josh Gad and Hayley Berry was cast with Patrick Wilson and Charlie Plummer added in June. In October, Stanley Tucci, John Bradley, Donald Sutherland and Emil uh, Ikra were added in the cast. Uh, with Bradley replacing uh, Gad. Uh, two scheduling conflicts. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna. I know this is a short video, but I'm just gonna get into my thoughts. So, if you don't know who Roland Emmerich is, um, he is known for a lot of end of world films like Independence Day. Uh, 2012, The Day After Tomorrow, uh, like all those kind of films. Um, this film, I, unfortunately, I didn't enjoy it. It did not come around to me to enjoy this film. I did not have a fun time watching this film at all. It was just, uh, was I wasn't looking forward to this film. Probably not. This was not a good film at all. Do I recommend it? No. Uh, people should stay away from this film. But if you like disaster films, probably you'll like it. Uh, but yeah, Moonfall was just not it for me. I mean, I like the cast. The cast was good. Um, the acting was good. But Moonfall for me didn't cut it. But for my score for Moonfall, I'm going to be giving it a 1 out of 5 stars. Percentage, I'm going to be giving it a 10%. Rating, I'm going to be giving it an F. And out of 10, I'm going to be giving it a 1 out of 10. If you're wondering, I've got the 355 and Moonfall at 10%. Well, the 355 is better for me. 
and I hated the three five five. So it's saying something. But Moonfall, yeah, unfortunately, it's just not for me. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. It'll be a big help. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.